So, uh, I've had this uh, running overnight. Uh, I've slowed it down a little. And so it's just a piece of uh, aluminum uh, window screen. And the water that uh, irrigates my plants here uh, just drips down, 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 down. It doesn't come through now. Uh, and drips all the way down, around, and into this. And measure the temperature. That's 9.9. And um, the water has about 4,300 times the heat capacity of air. So the air temperature is, is totally maybe 10. Maybe, maybe a bit more. I can't measure the air temperature with this, it's not really the type of probe. But I can measure the original water pressure because this is the water that's going up to the thing. And let's get down in here. And there we have it 8.6. So that means that just dripping down this, the water is going up by 1.3 degrees in temperature and if you can imagine this is stripping at about a liter per hour so not very fast that means that it is uh, take uh, it's raising the temperature of one liter of water um, per hour by one degree and that doesn't seem like a whole lot but if you consider that it's uh, the air Heat capacity is, uh, what is it, uh, 4,300 times less than the heat capacity of water. It means that it is cooling the air by one degree as well, but it's uh, cooling 4.3, uh, sorry, 4,300 liters of air by one degree. So that's uh, quite a substantial transfer of energy by a tiny drip of water. Anyway, I'm leaving it at that. Thank you. Bye-bye.